The significance of personal liberty and the dangers of governmental overreach are crucial topics, particularly when examining the criticism surrounding the government's handling of COVID-19. I'm always disappointed by these hearings because it, it tends to divide and it becomes like the person becomes a soccer ball that gets kicked back and forth. And I just remember there was a long time early on, if you questioned the draconian response, mm -hmm. you were condemned. You were accused of not taking COVID seriously. And I took it seriously, but, but you, you saw experts like him choose the short-term benefit of fear over the long-term benefit of restraint. And now we're paying that price. Mm -hmm. Experts saw incentive in fear mongering because they were portrayed as heroic. They amplified their media footprint. They got book deals. They got speaking deals. This was an accelerated version of the 30 to 40 years of climate hysteria. When you, if you were a climatologist or a science or whatever, a scientist, and you embraced that ideology, you went up. That's exactly what happened here. And the irony of Fauci. He wanted to put six people six. He wanted to put people six feet apart. He put them six feet under because remember that was the foundation of all the enforced isolation mm -hmm. was the six feet apart. When you when you walk by somebody, you would get all freaked out. There were people you could not see your sick relatives who died. That happened in my family. People with autistic kids that were in the hospital, they could not see them unless you had some kind of power. People in recovery couldn't go to their meetings. There were overdoses. There were suicides. Kids lost their real education. And, it, it, and why? Why? Can we figure out what was worse? Was it COVID or our response to COVID? Because if we're still going through our response to COVID, and Fauci will not be remembered as the hero that he wants to be. He'll be remembered as a villain. Mm -hmm. Greg Gutfeld asserts that the measures enforced by Anthony Fauci and other experts, like social distancing and lockdowns, may have inflicted more harm than the virus itself. He contends that fear has been wielded as a tool to control the populace, leading to severe negative outcomes such as mental health issues, educational setbacks, and economic turmoil. One can analyze the impact of the COVID-19 response on the collective psyche noting how enforced isolation and social distancing have fueled feelings of alienation, anxiety, and depression. The inability to visit sick relatives or attend recovery meetings highlights the profound emotional and psychological damage these policies have caused. Investigating the long-term effects on mental health and trust in public institutions is essential. Gutfeld likely agrees with the critical view of the COVID-19 response emphasizing the psychological effects on individual freedom and authenticity and criticizing fear-based policies. He advocates for a more balanced approach that weighs both the immediate and long-term consequences of these measures on individuals and society.